Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So I bought the Femiro Home Waxing Kit. This is it. This is what the box looks like. I am going to do a little demo here on how it works. I went with this one because on Amazon, this one was like $42. It was the best seller. It had a lot, a lot of reviews and it was four and a half stars. And I, I just wanted to get one that was like more so solid quality. And this one was $42, I believe, plus tax or thereabouts. I'll link it down below. Low. and the others were just under 30 and simply based on price I figured well maybe it's a little bit higher quality and I might as well spend the extra 10 bucks I am saving money on going and getting my legs waxed professionally after all and hopefully this will last a long time so this is what it looks like when I open it I'm really excited so it comes with this little card that says free gift I am selected to join their special free gift offer I don't know if this is something that comes in everybody's box, but I'm going to scan that and see what they're talking about. And then there's this thing. We'll find out what that is. I don't know. And then here is the actual device. So I got this because I'm three and a half months pregnant and I felt horrible for about two months. And then I started to feel better. And when I felt better, I realized that my hygiene had really gone south. So I wanted to wax my legs because I like waxing my legs a lot. The hair on my legs is a lot thinner because I've waxed my legs probably about a dozen times. So there's this pre-wax oil, pre-wax oil. So we'll figure out what that's about. And then it has this little pot for the inside. So this is aluminum probably and then this part's plastic and then this is probably also aluminum and I don't know what that's for. I've never done this kind of waxing at home before so you are watching a beginner. So that's what it looks like all without the plastic and everything. It's very lightweight. So it had the pre-wax oil and it has post-wax oil and this is a good amount. That's nice. And I like that they're in little spray bottles too. So that's easy application. Oh, this one feels like it's leaking a little bit. That's okay, not badly. And then we have four different kinds of wax beans. So on the listing, it showed the different kinds of wax beans, but these aren't labeled. I remember there was chamomile, and I'm guessing that's this. I remember there was rose, and I'm guessing that's this one. And then I don't remember the other ones, but like I said, the product will be linked in the description box below so you can go and take a look. Oh, and here's a little cautionary thing. Do not use inside nose, ears, on nipples, eyelashes, warts, or moles. So if you wanted to use this on your nose hairs, it wouldn't be for that. Okay, so there's that. And then here are the sticks for application. So we are going to read instructions and get started. So here's the pamphlet. It comes with three instructions. So it says put three and a half to 11 ounces of wax beads into the removable pot. And this package is three and a half ounces. So it's the minimum amount that you want to put into the pot. And then it says to melt wax quickly, replace the lid and turn the dial clockwise to max heat. After the wax is half melted, adjust to your desired temperature. You'll see the indicator light turn from red to off when the desired temperature is reached. We recommend a temp between 150 to 180 degrees. However, this may vary, especially when using more or fewer beads. I'm going to do a little before of my leg hair. <laughs> really, really vulnerable here. Um, but like I said, I've waxed my legs about 12 times, so it's pretty thin right here. But you can really see... Oh, I guess I have a bruise. You can really see the hair here and that is what I did not shave the whole time I was feeling really sick there we go that's my before shot and then we will see what it looks like afterwards okay so it is plugged in on my counter I'm gonna use the chamomile 
small wax beads. So I'm gonna put this in and let them melt and then I will show you what it looks like melted. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn it to one of the lower settings, see how that goes and put the lid on and see how long that takes. I will time it and let you know. Okay, so while that's melting, I'm gonna put some of the pre-wax oil on my legs because I'm sure I'm quite dry and the instructions said it's better if you're a little moisturized but not overly moisturized. It has a really nice fine mist spray. It smells and feels like water to be honest. It doesn't feel oily at all. It feels like I'm just rubbing water onto my legs. Oh, it has very little oil. Castor oil and tea tree oil and they're the last ingredients behind propylene gly glycol and a peg. So if you're interested in ingredients, those could be bad for us. Some people do try to avoid those ingredients. Okay, we're gonna see if the wax is melted. Okay, so it's been just over five minutes and the beads are only getting soft. You can kind of see on the edges they're melting. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit more. I feel like it could go a little faster. They had it down to about 180. You know what? I'm gonna just crank it all the way up. So while we're waiting for the wax to melt, I just discovered that this blue thing that I took out at the beginning of the video, I read about what it is. It comes out like this, but you can pop it out so that it is like a little bowl. And you put this into the pot and this is what's easy to clean. So you put this into the pot and you put the wax inside of this and then you let it melt in this. And then the wax pops out into as like one chunk so that's what's easy to clean and that's what you can reuse darn it i wish i read that before okay so the wax looks about halfway melted so i am going to go ahead and turn it down from max heat to it said 150 to 180 i think i think i'm gonna just do 180 hey that turned it off though that indicator goes off when it's warm enough so that's probably, that probably went off because I turned it down to 180 and it's currently hotter than that. So I bet this will go back on when it reaches below 180. So let's see, yeah, if I turn it up to 195, it goes back on. So I'm going to put it to 180 and it will stay at 180 and the wax should finish melting. And then I will be back. Okay, so we are fully melted. It's supposed to be the consistency of honey. This looks a little bit like the consistency of honey. They want, they say, oh, that's what this little arm is so that you can rest the stick there. So they say they recommend between 150 and 180. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit just to make sure to about closer to 160, just to make sure I don't burn myself. But this looks like the consistency of honey, I think. I think I can go ahead and give this a try on my leg. Okay, I have some wax on my stick and we're gonna go for it. So you wanna go in the direction of your hair growth. And this is the kind of wax that you just pull right off. You don't need a muslin strip. So that is what I really wanted. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry. So the wax took a good 20 minutes to melt. I don't know why I thought that was gonna happen much more quickly, but definitely have some laundry to fold or something while you're waiting for it to melt or something more exciting to do than laundry. But that's what I did. You're supposed to let it dry. Oh, it's already dry. That took, well, about 30 seconds. So maybe even less. So let's go for it. It only took out some of my hair, but you know what? I think that's probably user error. Maybe my legs needed to be more exfoliated. I don't know, but it didn't take out all of my hair, but you can see it took some out. There's definitely hair there. So the recommended length of your hair should be a quarter inch long, which mine barely gets that long. It's that long now, but let's give it another try. Okay, so this time I put the wax on more quickly. I think perhaps I waited too long to put it on my leg and it had cooled a little bit. Here we go. It's working, that was a little bit better. I think that this is just, um, that I have a lot to learn about how to use this. So far, I really like it. It's exactly what I wanted. I think that this kit is really good and as I get the hang of it, it will get better and better and work better and better. So I do recommend this. I do recommend this. I am going to complete waxing my legs and I will be back for an after. So I'll show you before and after. I wouldn't use this oil. If you are somebody who likes to pay attention to ingredients, there is a formaldehyde release written here. And there's also some pegs, which they mispronounce, misspelled as PAG, unless there's a PAG 40 as well that I'm unaware of. That could be, that could be. So I wouldn't use this 
product. You can use your own oils to soothe your skin after you do waxing. So overall, the wax warmer itself, I think is great, works really well. There was definitely a beginner's learning curve. I didn't get nearly every hair or anything like that, but it's much thinner. This leg was the second leg I did and it went more smoothly. There's just a little wax there. And I was able to get more of the hair off of my leg, but you know, so far, I kind of think the strips that already have the wax on them that you rub in your hands and you pull apart and you use, so far I think those actually work just as well and are a lot. <laughs> hell of a lot easier, a lot less messy, a lot faster, but supposedly this way works better to get more hair. So there's definitely a learning curve. This was my first time using a wax warmer. The actual product itself, I think, worked really well. Anyway, so overall, the product review, this is a great product. I will try it again, but again, I think that those strips work just as well for me. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope this was a helpful review video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.